Augustine was a man of passion and faith, of high intelligence and tireless pastoral charity. He has left a very deep mark on the church's cultural, moral, and theological life. The son of a pagan father, Patricius, and a devout Christian mother, Monica, he was raised as a Catholic. As was frequently the custom of, at time, he was, however, not baptized as a child. His youth was turbulent. Augustine was intellectually restless, ambitious, and sexually active from the age of 17. As a young man, he established a relationship for more than a decade with a woman whose name we do not know. Because of the difference in social class, he did not marry her. Together they had a son named Ariodatus, who was very dear to him, but who died before reaching adulthood. Augustine was always fascinated and drawn to the person of Jesus Christ, but he took many detours before committing himself to him. Like many young people, his process of conversion was marked by a struggle with his sexuality. He knew that being a Christian would involve living chastely. Once Augustine even prayed, make me chaste and celibate, but not yet. After a long and tormented inner journey and help but prayers of his mother, he was finally baptized by St. Ambrose in 387 in Milan. Following his conversion, he embraced a life of celibacy, leaving aside his partner of many years. Augustine then returned to his homeland in North Africa. After founding a monastic community, he was ordained a priest, and later the Bishop of Hippo. He was a prolific writer, a man of unsurpassable psychological and spiritual insight, and a vigorous defender of the truth and beauty of the Catholic faith. Above all, St. Augustine tells young people what St. Paul wrote to the Philippians with God's merciful grace. I can do all things through him who strengthens me.